Hi, Grey Mountain students. I hope you're all doing great and I hope you're getting outside and doing some walks in nature and having some outdoor adventures. I know I am. Every morning I'm going for a nature walk with my puppy and we are seeing some really cool stuff outside. I always bring my nature journal along and I open it and make sure that I collect all of the treasures that I find. Well, guess what? Last night, I think I must have been dreaming about scuba diving. Anybody who knows me knows that I love to go swimming, and I bet a lot of you love to go swimming too. Well, today when I went for a walk in the forest, all of the stuff that I saw started to remind me of underwater creatures. I must have had the ocean on my mind. So I found a bunch of moss. Well, today, this moss didn't look like moss to me. It started to remind me of the coral that's in the ocean, the underwater coral. When I saw the pine cones that I found, instead of looking like pine cones, today they started reminding me of the scales of a fish. And I found a whole bunch of leaves. But instead of looking like normal leaves, I started to imagine that they transformed into undersea creatures. So I wanted to show you what I created. I decided to make an underwater nature craft and I thought maybe some of you would like to make it too. So I'll show you what I did. All I did, wow, was take a piece of old cardboard from my recycling. I painted it blue and I took all of the pine cones that I had and I painted them orange. Then I put a little googly eye on them. If you don't have googly eyes, you could also just take a marker and draw their eye. I took some orange construction paper that I had in my craft drawer and I made a tail and a fin. At the bottom, I put all the coral for the coral reef at the bottom of the ocean. And you'll never guess what this guy is. He's a crab that I made. It might look like I made them out of construction paper, but guess what? What I actually did was take a leaf, paint it red, wait for it to dry, and then I cut it into a crab shape. I couldn't believe how well it turned out. It was so great. I also decided to do something fun. One of my favorite things to do is go fishing, and I cannot wait for the weather to keep warming up so that I can get out and do some fishing. But what I did is take a stick, that I found outside on my nature walk. I took a piece of yarn that I found in my craft drawer and I made a little hook to pretend that this hook was tempting this fish. I'm really happy with how it turned out. You might be wondering about these blue streaks. Well, guess what? I decided to make my own nature paintbrush. Do you wanna see how I did it? Hold on one second. Does anyone see a lot of bees in their backyard or out on their nature walk? These needles that are all over the ground? Well, I thought, you know what? Those needles could transform into a paintbrush. So what I did is I took a whole bunch of the needles and I taped them at the end. I put them together and I put a bunch of tape, just scotch tape at the end. And to make my waves, I dipped the needles in paint and I just made a wave shape with light blue paint. You could make a bunch of these paint brushes and use them for a whole bunch of different things. So this was my idea, an underwater nature craft. I bet you could do something like this or something totally different. When you go outside, use your imagination and you're never gonna believe what kind of cool art supplies you can find right in your backyard. So have fun. And I hope that you'll send me some pictures of your creations. Thanks, Grey Mountain, and we'll talk to you soon. Guess what? Next time I'm going to tell you why I'm collecting eggshells for a nature craft. So tune into my next video and you'll find out. Bye for now.